everyone welcome back to the channel thanks for tuning in again we are back with another quick little mod or quick little add-on to the truck here so without further ado we'll get right into it i'll flip you around show you what we got and exactly what you should do to get it on your own truck all right so although we are working with our 2023 frontier pro 4x here this can be done on any vehicle the install process is roughly the same so keep in mind if you're watching this and you're not actually owning this specific truck this works out no matter what vehicle you're doing it on. And what we have for this video are these. Now this is little vinyl stickers to fill in the frontier here on the top of the grill. You can see it's indented. Now I did install the same thing on the tailgate. Those were 3D decals. I'll put the link up here somewhere. You can watch that video if you want. But you can see as for these, they are just flat. They do make 3D ones like the back, but I figured it might look a little weird up front and just collect dirt and stuff. So these being flat, we'll just fill in the black portion inside the lettering and should look pretty hot when it's done. Color wise, if we take it down because this does have the lava red accent. Now, of course, one's on white and one is on black. But you can see, hopefully, the color is pretty close, not 100%, but pretty dang close. And this company that I ordered off of Etsy actually sends you two sets. So if you screw something up, you do have one more chance to fix your mistakes and hopefully get it right. And now before you do the install, this thing has to be clean. This truck I just washed a couple days ago, so it's a little bit dirty, but it's not too, too bad. But having said that, you want this as clean as you can get it. Cleaner the better. So what I'm going to do, I like to use this stuff as just wipe out. It'll get any like grease or oily deposits or anything, dust, everything on there. It'll get it off. I had some from when I ceramic coated my old car. So works better than just water. But to put these on, you can see the bottle up here. You do need a little bit of soapy water. So you can use that too if you don't have this stuff, but no matter what you do, just make sure it's clean, free of any dirt, any dust, any rocks, dead bugs. This is the front of the truck. Make sure nothing's hiding in the creases and cracks. And like you said, the cleaner, the better. And now before you put them on, one extra step, you don't have to do this, but I usually do. I have these alcohol wipes around the house. They're easy to use, easy to store, and it will definitely get any oil or gunk that's on there. So once we wipe down the dirt and dust like I just did, take one of these. Don't have to do the whole grill or the whole plastic part, just in the letters where the sticker will be sticking. And like I said, that'll get any oil or anything off of there. So once these letters are stuck down and dried in place, you should have no worries. You'll be able to wash the car. You'll be able to clean the top of the grill here and not have to worry about these things peeling off and ruining the look that you're going for. All right, so now looking at the decals themselves, just so you don't get confused, you can see the R's have a one and a two, and then you have up arrows on certain one of these. The arrow pointing up means for the O, for example, we'll go that way. Same with the N, they would like it this way. Just make sure your arrow is pointing up. And now for the one and two, if you look closely, you might not notice this on your truck, but if you look at the middle portion there, how one is skinny and one is slightly fatter, you can see the difference there. That's one and two. One will be the first star. Two will be the last star in Frontier. Because if you actually come and look at the truck, you can see this star has a fatter portion. But if you come to the first star, she's just slightly thinner. I don't know why that is. And I didn't really notice until I started doing this, to be honest with you. But it is the case. And people who obviously make the decals have figured that out. 
because they are labeled one and two. So what we're gonna do, it's kind of hard to do this. This is more of a tint than a vinyl sticker per se. That's why I've got this warm water with a tiny bit, and I mean a tiny bit of dishwasher soap or dish soap, whatever one you want to use. And I mean like less than one drop for this amount of water. Give it a little shake. You can see just enough to form a little bit of bubbles and that will help you slide this stuff around and get it in place. Because once you put that down, if it sticks right away, it's stuck. So if you're not perfect at aiming, you're going to wreck it. You do have two, obviously you can fix it up, but spray a little bit of this, do it in the garage, leave it overnight. The water will evaporate underneath and you'll be good to go. All right, so you can see I got the first two. They do have the little tiny portions there, so I figured I won't show you on there. I needed two hands, but the O, you can see, just squirt in the O. Same thing, spray on the back of this. You're not gonna wash the glue off. Keep in mind, the O had the arrow, so that was the top. Keep it straight. Then come over here. Don't have much room with the Pathfinder here, but get it aligned, and with the water, it allows you to kind of wiggle it without actually sticking it down. And of course, it wants to stick to my thumb. Hold it there, just peel it off. Like I said, the water allows you to just kind of fudge with it a little bit. You can see we might be a smidge too high. So just play with it. I'm gonna need both hands to get this one to fit. But that's what you want to do as long as you have the water in there you can mess it around if you get it a little bit out of whack like i think this one is you can take it no problem just peel it back up don't pull too hard or you'll rip it if it's getting dried up spray a little more on the back align it and then you're good and then once you got it sitting where you want take your microfiber cloth and just press down and outwards kind of like the credit card method similar It'll just push any water that's under there out, dry up around, it'll stick in there nice, and ta-da, you are done. And there you have it guys, everything is in, everything is looking good. I think it looks pretty sweet myself, I'm glad I ordered them. At this angle now you can see the original lava red is slightly darker. I don't know if that's because of this is sitting up towards the light, I'll have to get it outside and see. But from what I see here, it is just slightly lighter, but I think it still looks pretty sweet, especially from back here. So easy install, like I said, a little bit of water, nice microfiber cloth and your stickers. And again, make sure you keep the up arrows up and the one and two R's because they are slightly different, separated. You don't want to mess that up and you get two. So if you do mess it up, peel it off, have at her again, and I'm sure you'll get it right. They do fit almost 100% perfect. I don't know if the camera will pick it up with the shine, but there's a little bit of gaps here and there, but that is probably more me putting it on than these things not being cut properly. But again, put them on, get the water out with your microfiber cloth, just rub it down, make sure everything's out underneath. It is fairly warm in here. If you live in a warm spot, pull the truck outside, let the sun cook it for a couple minutes, and these things should stay on for days. You can see you come down just how sweet it looks with them inlaid there now. I think it was an excellent choice. I'll put the link down below if I can find it and you can pick these out for yourself if you want them. So there you go everybody. Easy install. Less than 10 minutes. All you need is some water, a little bit of soap in your stickers and some patience. Steady hand. Easy to do. Like I said, if you screw it up, it comes with two. If I can find the link, I will drop it down below. Most of them off of Etsy, which is where I bought this, they'll be the same, roughly, give or take. You might not get two sets, but you're probably going to end up with pretty much the same thing. So hopefully this helps you with the install if you have some troubles or any questions. And if you like the video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe. The bigger mods are on the way, so if you don't want to miss that, make sure to subscribe. They're currently in shipping. I don't know how many weeks it will be, but the bigger stuff is starting to come. So it should be a lot of fun. So again, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Hopefully we catch you in those videos coming up. And thanks for watching this one.